We invite you to join us as we celebrate the church launch of Miracle Healing Center in McKinney, Texas on Sunday, May 21st at 10 a.m. Featuring Pastor Sean and Amy Pender with special music by Alvin Slaughter. We welcome people of all ages and backgrounds to come and experience God's love and power, as well as join us as we fulfill the Great Commission, preaching the gospel to the lost and demonstrating God's power. Celebrate with us at the Cockrell Middle School in McKinney. See you there. Sing it with me. Mighty God. Come on, church. I bless your name. Holy One. Holy One. Glory to God. I worship you. For you are God all by yourself. We love you this morning, oh God. You are God, you are God. Because you are God all by yourself yourself come on let's sing it to him mighty god i bless your name holy one i worship you sing it to him mighty god yes god i bless your name holy one i worship you for you are god all by yourself thank you for your presence this morning oh god you are god you are god you are god all by yourself come on and sing it with me age to age you're still the same all creation sing it and age to age you're still the same and all creation will shout your name for you are God all by yourself we worship you God you are God you are God you are God all by yourself for who you are I bless your name for who you are I worship you come on for who you are I bless your name for who you are I worship you for you are God all by yourself somebody help me give God praise on this morning oh blessed be the name of Jesus <laughs> we are so happy to be back with you on this morning to declare the Word of God and on this morning we are talking about Hannah's powerful prayer Hannah's powerful prayer now we want to take you into the Word of God in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2 beginning at verse 1 through 10 the Bible says verse 1 and Hannah prayed and this is a prayer of thanksgiving from Hannah after she got a great victory and a great breakthrough over one of her fiercest enemies. This literally started in chapter 2 because Elkanah, who was the husband of Hannah, he was also the husband of Penina. He had two wives. Amen? Hannah names mean favored by God. Penina means jewel. She didn't act like a jewel. She acted like a devil Penina. And she provoked Hannah saw because the Lord had shut up Hannah's wombs. Are you listening to me? Was in the devil. God had shut up Hannah's womb because the first child that would come from her womb would be a sacred child called by God to accomplish one of the greatest works in the Bible. Are you listening to me? And Panina was the one giving birth all along. And she haunted Hannah. The Bible says she vexed Hannah's soul sore. She provoked her. She taunted her. You are barren. I'm the one who's giving birth. You can't give birth. My husband, I've already given him seven kids and you haven't given him one. But God had a plan for Hannah. Are you listening to me? You cannot compare yourself to other people. The Bible says to compare yourselves among yourselves, it's not wise. Are you listening to me? Everybody has a time. Everybody has a season. But you've got to let God do what he wants to do in your life. Are you listening to me? And finally, Hannah conceived. And she conceived because it was God's time. And we know she would give birth 
to a young child, by a young boy by the name of Samuel, who would anoint the first king of Israel, but more importantly, he anointed the second king of Israel, which was King David, through whom Jesus Christ the Messiah would come through. Are you listening to me? You gotta understand there's a purpose for your pain. God has a plan in the midst of all of it. Why don't you just type below this video right now? Come on. There is a purpose for my pain. Make it personal. Type it big and bold. There is a purpose for my pain. And you have to understand God has a set time when he will allow you to produce and give birth to the promise of God. Nothing will happen before God's timing. Are you listening to me? Oh, glory to God. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a tweet right there. Nothing will happen before God's timing. You may want to type those words out just to remind yourself. Nothing will happen before God's timing. I don't care how much you fast. I don't care how much you pray. I don't care how much you give and sow seeds. You cannot manipulate God. Are you listening to me? Now watch this. I want to take you into chapter 2 verse 1. And Hannah prayed and said, my heart rejoiceth in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth, glory to God, is enlarged over my enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. The word salvation right there means deliverance. The word salvation right there means victory. Hannah is saying, my mouth is enlarged over my enemies. That's a victory that God grants the child of God who have been taunted, who have been tortured, who have been criticized, who have been looked down on by their adversaries and their enemies. There comes a time in your life where God steps in and said, enough is enough. And God will turn the tables in your favor to let the devil and all of his demons know that no weapon formed against you will be able to prosper. And every tongue that rise against you in judgment it shall be condemned because this is the heritage of the servants of God and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. Oh, glory to God. Hannah is rejoicing because now she is finally impregnated. She is finally producing. But all of this has to do with God's timing. Hannah said, my mouth, oh my God, my God, my God, I feel a breakthrough right there. Somebody's getting a breakthrough right there. Come on, lift your hands to heaven. I said, somebody feels, felt something broke from over your life. Somebody is getting a breakthrough, my God. Lift your hands to heaven. I feel the Holy Ghost right here. Now watch this. Hannah said, my mouth is enlarged over my enemies. That means you can rejoice. The tables have turned. The tables have turned. The tables have turned. Watch this. In verse 2, Hannah says, there is none holy as the Lord. For there is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. There is no rock like him. Hannah says, talk no more exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge and by him actions are weighed. You see, when Penina, when Penina was producing children, every year she was getting pregnant and giving Elkanah husband, a husband and child. But Hannah was barren, and Hannah's barrenness had nothing to do with Satan. Hannah was barren. The Bible clearly says the Lord had shut up Hannah's womb. Are you listening to me? There are times in all of our lives we are praying against the hand of God. I remember a time in my life in ministry, we were on God's waiting list. 
and dear God we fasted we prayed we were trying to make God do something before his time but God allow us to be barren and non-productive for a season because he had a time and a purpose for our life and our ministry and every time me and Pastor Amy look back over our life we say thank God he did not give us an early breakthrough because we would have destroyed what God have given us back then because we did not have the wisdom we did not have the experience experience we did not have the maturity and sometimes God himself is holding back that answer because your character your maturity your wisdom cannot keep it it cannot keep what God wants to give you and so God has to God has to bring your character he has to bring your wisdom he has to bring your maturity level to a place where when he releases that answer to your prayer you will be able to sustain and increase what God gives you are you listening to me Hannah was not ready and even though her adversary provoked her saw her adversary little that her adversary know that God was about to turn the tables in Hannah's favor but you just got to be patient you got to learn to wait on God are you hearing me Count it all joy. The book of James chapter 1 verse 1 and 2 says, Count it all joy when you fall into divers temptations of various kinds. For the trying of your faith worketh patience and allow patience to have its perfect work in you that you may be complete, lacking nothing. God will perfect those things which concerns you. Now watch this. So Hannah said, talk no more, exceeding proudly. Do not allow arrogancy to come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge and by him actions are weighed. When Penina was provoking Hannah, when she was rejoicing every time she got pregnant and Hannah's womb was still shut up with barrenness, God was weighing her actions. God was watching every time Penina would taunt Hannah. And God, every time he see what Penan was doing to Hannah, God looked at his calendar. He looked at his timetable and he said to Hannah, just hang in there just a little while longer because you are, you are up, you are next in line for a miracle, you are next in line for a breakthrough, but just wait on me, Hannah, wait on me. I know it seems like your enemy has the upper hand. In reality, your enemy does not have the upper hand. This has everything to do with my timing. Can you type those words and said, my enemy does not have the upper hand. The Holy Ghost is talking to somebody here on this morning my god and listen i'm about to read verse 4 and this is the thing that really leaped off the bible at me verse 4 the bible says this is hannah the bows of the mighty men are broken and they that stumbled are girded with strength let me read that again the bows of the mighty men are broken and they that stumbled are girded with strength. Listen, let me explain this to you. This actually means the table have turned. The table have turned. This is your time. This is your season. The bows of the mighty men. In other words, Penina was the one who seemed like she had the upper hand when you look through the natural physical eyes. It looked like she had the upper hand, but Hannah said, the bows of the mighty men are broken. The ones who were on top is now on the bottom. The ones who were on the bottom is now on the top. No wonder Jesus said, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. You will last, my God, I feel the anointing here. You will last in the last season, but in this season, you are first. The last shall be first. Lift your hands to heaven and declare it the last shall be first i was last in the last season but i'm first in this season i'm first i'm first the bows of the mighty men the ones who had the upper hand they are the tail and now you are the head you are above only and not beneath you are blessed and not cursed god have turned it around the bows of the mighty men are broken and they that stumble 
I girded with strength. You that questioned God, you that started to doubt God, you that started to give up on the promise. Now the promise is being fulfilled. Now the long awaited prayer you've been answered, you've been waiting for, the long prayers you've been waiting for, the answer to that prayer you've been waiting for, the answer is now here. Open your mouth and declare it. My answer is here. My answer is here. Listen to this. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread, and they that were hungry ceased, so that the barren has borne seven, and she that hath many children is wax feeble. The tables have turned. The one who was bearing children is not bearing anymore. The one who was barren, now her womb has become fruitful. I mean, every year now, Hannah is getting pregnant. Every year, one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. I dare someone to lift your hands to heaven and say, my barren season is over. Type it below this video. My barren season is over. Oh, glory to God. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread, and they that were hungry has ceased, so that the barren has borne seven, and she that has many children is wax feeble. I want to jump to verse 8. He raised up the poor out of the dust, and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill, to set them among princes, and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he had set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. It's not by power, it's not by might, but it is by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. The tables have turned. You were on the bottom last season, but God's bringing you to the top in this season. My God, my God, I'm going to see a victory. Glory to God. I'm going to see a victory. Come on. I'm going to see a victory for the battle belongs to you, Lord. Sing it with me, church. Cause I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. The weapon may be formed. Sing it with me. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. My God. And when the darkness falls, it won't prevail. We love you this morning. For the God I serve knows only how to triumph. And my God will never fail. My God and my God will never fail. Sing it church, cause I'm gonna see. Father God, me and Pastor Amy cover your people this morning in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for opening the eyes of your people and allowing them to see that even when it's not going the way we desire it to go, God is still on the throne and he is in control. Strengthen your people on this morning. Encourage them. Minister strength to them on this morning. We thank you for giving them understanding, God. Thank you for giving them hope. Thank you for encouraging that person. There is somebody, listen, you are at the end of your rope. You are about to throw the towel in. And the Holy Ghost have used this word to encourage you this morning. Your season is changing. That's why the enemy attack you to that degree. He wanted you to throw the towel in because he recognized that you were next in line for a miracle. Thank God. And there are some of you who have given up and the Holy Ghost said it's not over for you. Just lift your hands to heaven and say, God, I'm back. I'm back. Forgive me for giving up too soon. 
God said, your miracle is still going to happen. Glory to God. We want to give you an opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to do so. Visit us online right now, seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zelle account. That address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. That address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888. And a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Never forget me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy. We love you. We appreciate you. And we look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow as we continue the series, God is a Good God.